Mystery, <laughs> while having a lot of good contributions to the community, is dead wrong here on the matter of texting. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about mystery, Eric Von Markovic, and how he's totally fucking wrong about his views on texting, okay? Keep in mind, I want to preface this discussion here with saying that he's the guy I respect the most in the game, legitimately, not just saying that. Uh, always have, always will, okay? Tremendous respect. I think he was the closest uh, to a, a optimized system that I've seen by far, okay? Granted, my stuff, I took the best of mystery method, the best stuff I could find from naturals, the best stuff I could find from all the top guys I met around the world over the years, okay? And constantly evolved and optimized, drove innovation in, etc. So my system in its current form, okay, has far, far, far surpassed mystery method. That's just a fact. It's not, not up for debate, not up for opinion. There's parts of the mystery method that were wrong. There's parts of the mystery method that were inaccurate and inefficient, okay? And I've corrected those things and, and driven in a lot of other things, okay, that are far better. However, he did make a very good first attempt. But the problem is, is he built the system and then he froze it in time, okay? He failed to evolve, failed to adapt. And I want to discuss in particular today his view on texting, okay? Before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Um, the new videos every day. I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of fucking videos so that I'm not missing any days because life uh, running this eight-week mentorship and, and uh, you know, hanging out with my chick in Brazil and all this other stuff with the gym and, and martial arts and stuff. It's tough to keep on the, on the daily videos. But I'm going to queue up a bunch in advance so that I'm not missing them. Okay, so back in around 2017, him and I used to actually message like every day on Facebook. Okay, and he told me, he said, um, this is on my old account, so I can't find the screenshot, but he told me this, and I'll show a, a new screenshot for where he's reiterating this stuff uh, very recently in a forum. He told me in 2017, he said, I don't give phone numbers anymore. He said, phone numbers are a waste of time. And I said, I'm going to have to hard disagree on that. Phone numbers are like the lifeblood of getting results. Okay, I, When I made my program, The Leads Machine, uh, the beginning of 2019, I did a whole bunch of... Uh, you know, kind of reflection and analysis, where are the most of my results coming from? And it's coming from mass working a whole bunch of leads and mass setting a lot of dates. Okay, you have perfect logistics on dates. They're right near your house. Okay, it's that you and the girl just one on one. It's a very easy to bring her back. It's very easy to run everything uh, very systematized and knock down lots of closes. Okay, and mystery said that he stopped uh, getting phone numbers because this is this is what he said. He, I remember it very well. He said, if I don't have enough compliance to get a girl Skype, okay, Skype is a voice over IP calling service. It's traditionally used for business. Okay, he said, if I don't have enough uh, compliance to get a girl Skype, then it's not even worth getting her contact info. And I said, listen, dude, not only do most girls know not know what the fuck Skype it even is, but they don't even—they don't have Skype Mobile. Like, what are you doing, right? And and I I had just done a, a massive analysis across my whole game, and found out the key is working leads and mass setting dates. Okay, so I told him like I totally disagree, and it's not even like a, oh I think it's this way and you think it's this way like schools of thought. No, he's just plain dead wrong. Okay, very very wrong. Like I said, I very, I respect him very much. This isn't to trash talk on him. This is a productive debate. Okay, on his view on this particular area versus mine, okay? And, and I, I have all the reasons to back it up that, that clearly win the argument. Um, but let's see what he said here in the modern day, okay? He said, um, this was in Playing With Fire, the forum run by Alex, okay, who's my good friend. Eric von Markovic, he said, texting is from the 80s. And I'll, I'll put this up on the screen over here. Um, texting is from the 80s. Sitting on your computer looking for girls to slime on with clever texts is what low value males without options do. I call it mental masturbation. Too many are sliming women on the daily. You're just one more junk message. Make a video, send it to her. I make music, show magic, convey my brilliant thoughts and contribute in meaningful voice message communication. Any number of women will pick up when I video phone. Texting randoms isn't the path to Venusian arts mastery unless you have DHV videos like Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> okay. Uh, First off, 
I'd like to mention that I'm Eskimo brothers with Leonardo DiCaprio. I banged a stripper in Vegas with fake tits uh, and tattoos, like close to a 10. And she told me she banged Leonardo DiCaprio um, at this party. This is a long story, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, he said, unless you have DHV videos, so I'm just going to pull up a video here that I show to a lot of girls after I meet them. I'll show this to them even in person, but a lot of times I'll show them uh, over text. I'll say, yeah, I'm an electronic music DJ, and I send this video here. And they're like, oh, my God. And this was taken in Puerto Rico when I lived in Puerto Rico at an event in Puerto Rico. And... Um, I also show a video of the penthouse I'm living in, I, but I don't do it in a bragging way. I just say, hey, I'm really excited. I just moved into a new spot. And I send a video. It showcases all the views, et cetera. And I say, like, what do you do for work? They're like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, cool. I, I run a, a company, but I'm also a DJ, electronic music DJ. And then I send that video. But the point is, even if you're not doing DHV, demonstration of higher value videos, texting is still super critical, okay? It powers all the rest of the fucking system. Okay, you get phone numbers from online game, from daytime game, from nighttime game, okay, from streets, bars, clubs, okay, at the gym, at the mall, etc. And all those fucking phone numbers, you're not going to be video calling with all of them, okay? It's not, it's not realistic. And it's also, I'll go into the different arguments here. Okay, first of all, are you going to have video call? If you're getting 15 to 20 phone numbers a week, are you going to have time uh, or is the girl going to pick up when you go to do 15 or 20 different video calls? No, of course not. Okay, number two, you are now putting yourself out there to do or say something that she doesn't like and fuck up your chances to getting the meetup. Okay, the purpose of texting is to arrange logistics. I don't do much gaming of the girl over text. Okay, that texting is just a vehicle to arrange logistics for a meetup. That's it. Okay, and I'm also greasing the wheels even more by I do a series of, of messages, like say it's an online game lead. I do a series of messages on Tinder so that once she moves to text, she's already primed to meet up. Okay, let's say it's a cold approach lead. I'm setting up the exact day, time, and activity. Okay, hey, do you like margaritas? Yes. Cool, let's meet for margaritas on, uh, in, in a couple days or tomorrow. Are you free tomorrow? Yeah, I think I, I think I am. Okay, can you do like 7 o'clock? Yes. Okay, so let's meet tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for margaritas. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me grab your phone number. Boom. And now you have exact plans set. Okay, now you don't have to start from scratch and slime on the girls. Okay, I agree with Mystery's points that you shouldn't just be, um, you know, another fucking text buddy, which is what most guys are doing. Okay, but he, what he's criticizing doesn't discount the usage of text messaging as a whole. Okay, you just shouldn't be doing it to say fancy and gamey shit and to blend in with the noise that's on her phone. Okay, it should be used as a tool to advance taking a phone number into a date. I have a whole product devoted towards it. Okay, the leads machine, sexleadmachine.com. I'll put that on the bottom of the screen here. And so the, the real key is taking all those leads from the online day and night, plugging them into the proper text message sequences. Yes, text message sequences, not video calls, not voice notes, but text message sequences that are going to boil down into a whole bunch of dates, okay? And this guy is saying, Mystery is saying, again, I respect him. I'm not dissing him. But he's the last guy I'd want to diss. Okay, I, I really respect him. Even if we, we disagree here on a, a professional point in the game, I'm not at all uh, throwing shade on him. Okay, I want to make that clear. It's like him and Tyler are in like completely different categories. I can disagree with both of them on things uh, regarding game. But Tyler's a fucking beta, chump, piece of shit, lying, scamming, asshole. Mystery is awesome, super cool dude, high value dude with really solid game that made a lot of uh, contributions to the community, okay? Whereas Tyler Durden just set it back 100 years, okay? So, um, and by the way, Mystery told me, this is, this is facts, Mystery told me in 2017 that he was in the low 300 count, okay? I hit 300, and it's not all about quantity, blah, 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 everyone will come rushing in. Oh, well, if your count is high, that must mean the quality is low. No, I kept the quality high all throughout. You just don't put unattractive chicks into the funnel. Oh, but, uh, you know, you don't have any other life. Yes, I have tons of hobbies. I prioritize rotation girls over new closes all the time. I run big rotations that take up a lot of my time, et cetera, et cetera. So all these, all these stupid arguments trying to, you know, piss and shit all over a fucking high lay count are stupid. Okay, it's just guys trying to rationalize why they don't have anywhere near close to the results so they can feel better, you know, and from a cognitive dissonance standpoint. 
point being, uh, low 300 count, okay? My best year from mid-2017 to mid-2018, okay, when I was doing a lot of dates straight to the house, when, when I started introducing that concept, um, was 246 girls, okay, in one year. So I did almost his entire life count in one year. He's almost 50. I just turned 37, and I hit 300 count in May 2014, okay? I hit his entire life count in, in May 2014, which is about coming up on seven years ago, okay? Um, the point of this is my system is far better, okay? And it involves, it involves regular texting and regular setting up of dates from the leads, okay? So when we go back to Mystery's quote here, texting is from the 80s, okay? First of all, uh, that's not even true because the internet came out in 1994, and I think cell phones were popularized around like 2002 or <laughs> 2003, um, becoming more mainstream. So texting from the 80s doesn't make sense, okay? And then you saw it sitting on your computer looking for girls to slime on with clever texts, okay? That you're not on your computer texting unless you're using WhatsApp web. <laughs> so uh, I, I thought that was ridiculous when I heard it. Uh, quite the contrary when he's saying it's a waste of time to get a phone number, okay? If you need to go for a Skype close. I would, I would have to still hard disagree on that, okay? Phone number, literally... Collecting phone numbers is the life fuel of my system, and that's where all the results derive from. You take all those phone numbers, you work them down with text to meetups, okay? And it's, I'm not sliming on the girls. I'm not fucking being gamey and fancy and all this shit. I'm not being a text buddy. I'm not blending into the noise, okay? My texts are very, very, very optimized and calculated to build compliance ladders to get her to meet up, okay? And then she's going to give different objections to meeting up over text, Comfort objections, safety objections, hookup objections, logistics objections, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I give the optimized responses to those in my Leads Machine product so that you can still maximize the chances that she'll come out, okay? And then what do you do after you close, after you bang her on that first date? You now set up the second date before the end of the first date is over, okay? So then you don't have to do all that bullshit work over text. You don't have to start from scratch. Hey, oh, good morning, how, how was your day? Okay, you don't have to say any of that dumb shit. Instead, Hey, do you like Italian food? Okay, after you bang the chick. Like, you know, not, not directly after, <laughs> sometime in the, in the aftermath when she's still hanging around a little bit after you hook up. Do you like Italian or sushi? Yeah, I love this. I love Italian. Cool, let's meet for, go out for Italian dinner. That's always my second date move is a, is a dinner, okay? And, you know, 99% of the guys in the community will come running, hey, uh, if you take a girl out to dinner, that means you're a provider and it'd uh, be, be, okay? Okay. I'm coming up on 1,300 girls, 1,292 current, slowed way down because I've been very serious with a particular girl in Brazil that's been on my channel and been focusing on a lot of fitness stuff and, you know, other other hobbies in, in the mentorship program here. But um, <laughs> the, the point is I've been doing this for 10, 15 years, okay, taking them out to dinner on the second date. It cements that a more serious romantic side that shows you're willing to meet out with them in public even though you guys already hooked up so that you're not just interested in sex. There's a lot of good reasons for it, okay? Whereas these dumb hard rules in the community, oh, don't ever buy anything for a girl, you'll be a provider. Okay, that's all spoken by guys that aren't getting laid, okay? I double text, I triple text whenever the fuck I want, okay? If I wanna text a girl two or three times, I'm gonna do it, I'm not gonna, if I wanna reply instantly, I'm gonna do it. I don't give a shit, okay? I'm not gonna, if she ignores me, I'm not gonna say, okay, uh, which which meme should I send now? Which which uh, next text should I cycle through to hope she reply? No, I'm gonna be like, hey, why are you ignoring? Okay, and then either she's going to fucking get in line or, or she's done. So, uh, mystery, <laughs> while having a lot of good contributions to the community, is dead wrong here on the matter of texting. Okay, and I just wanted to make a video about it. So, hope that was helpful. If you want to learn how to text at a very high level, okay, my texting scripts work extremely well, um, go to my Lee's Machine site. We'll put up the link here, sexleadmachine.com. And these work so well. I built these around the time that I had 10,000 phone numbers in my phone, around the time that I hit 1,000 girls towards the end of 2018. I built these uh, flow sequences with my friend who's also very hyper-analytical. He's in the crypto field. He's a, a crypto millionaire. And we sat down and we walked through all the different flows for the optimal texting moves at every step of the way to maximize getting dates, okay? And to give you an idea of how well they work, I've had guys... Uh, come through that program that have been with 200 girls and they said it 4x their meetup rate, okay, even though they're getting a lot of meetups. So these are very, very optimized texting scripts. 
check out that site. The link will be in the description if you have interest um, in having access to those. And then all your texting is done for life. Okay, anytime you get a phone number, you'll know exactly what to text in order to maximize the chances of getting a meetup. Okay, subscribe below if you have not already. Lots of really good shit coming. Very, very excited. Uh, Going to queue up all those fucking videos so that we, we stop missing uh, releases. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video. And roasts are coming soon. Don't worry. I just don't want to half-ass them. So we're like uh, compiling all the information and, and this and that. So thank you guys. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout stuff